The organization Guitars for Vets pairs veterans with guitar instructors as a form of music therapy. One instructor was so moved by appreciation that she heard from the program, she decided that she just had to do something special. Maggie Glass has the story. Strumming and singing in Jonathan Knox's living room, the duo practices their original song, near and dear to both their hearts. The story starts a few years ago when Knox went to the Department of Veterans Affairs for help. I found out I had, you know, some pretty serious PTSD and depression and, and um, it was seriously affecting my life. It was recommended he enroll in a program called Guitars for Vets. It places veterans struggling with mental health issues with an instructor for a 10 week guitar course. There was just something about uh, lear learning how to play uh, just a single chord. It would just, you know, bring some tingles, you know, to my body and um, just good feelings that um, I thought were, were lost. Knox is not the only veteran who feels this way. One day, a thank you note from a former student fell in the hands of Peg Andre. Let's do it again. Employee and former instructor with Guitars for Vets. His words painted such a picture to me and I, I just felt compelled to put his story into song. And so the song Freeing My Heartstrings was born. Started with the course, which is easier to write, and then you have to go back and tell the story and build the story with the verses. In search of a lead singer, Andre found her perfect fit. Freeing my heartstrings. Free my heartstrings. The song, with Knox on vocals and a few others on guitar, is meant to depict what it's like for veterans to rediscover themselves through music. Wrenching years of memories woke me in the night until a new unlikely friend helped me fight my fight. Maggie Glass, 29 News. Such a beautiful story. Thank you, Maggie. Still